Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Menachem Creditor. It is my honor to serve as scholar in residence and rabbi for UJA Federation of New York. We have brought you Torah in the morning every weekday morning since March 18th of 2020. And on Friday, we concluded the entire Torah learning every day. Today is broadcast number 248, and it is an incredible morning because today, this morning, this special moment, we begin Torah again. This is what we call a siyum, the completion and the celebration of a unit of learning, the entire Torah, all five books, every weekday morning. We started with Parshat Vayakel. This week we read Parshat Vayakel and the next one, Pikude, which means today is an incredibly special day for us, a Torah community that numbers in the hundreds live in the thousands by the time one day's Torah is learned. And there's so much going on in the world. But what we have accomplished by creating community together is nothing short of extraordinary. Let's see who's here so we get to start our day together. Carl, Boker Tov. Linda, hi. Hi, Karen. Henny, Boker Tov. David, Haiti, Boker Tov to you. Carl, Adrian, Roberta, Diane, Deborah, Arlene, Jessica. Valerie, Judy, hi friends, Susan, what an incredible thing we have done together, all of us, colleagues, friends, new friends from all over the world, Sandy and Harriet, Penina, Susan, Stacy, Sherilyn, Dodbarach, Arlene, Amy, Joy, Joy, <laughs> Andreen Booker Tov, hi Lori. Everyone, it is so good to be together. Let me take a second just to see who else is here. Arlene, Nir. Nir, I have to tell you that your, your being part of this community moves me so much, so much. Natalie, Maya, Nancy. I should say that to everybody. Everyone, you being part of the community matters so much. Nir is connecting from Saudi Arabia, and so I decided that she deserved the shout out. <laughs> Andrea, Bob, Booker, Tove, hi Helen, Marilyn, Debbie, Sharon, this is an incredible thing. Look how many friends are here. Stan and Andy, Deborah, Nola, hi Abba, hi Ima. So glad you're here. All right, friends, Nancy, Nancy Herstritt, what a gift to have you here right now. Haiti, sending love. Hi, my beautiful wife. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, Shirley, Barbara, Arlene, William. Thanks to William Daroff, everybody, my dear friend, a leader of our community and a sweet soul. Um, there's a wonderful story that's going to come out today from eJewish Philanthropy about our learning, how this cycle of learning has, um, has become, how we've become something real in each other's lives. All right, friends, you know what's coming. We have done it every morning for just about a year and for every Parsha of the Torah. And today we begin again. We begin again. So maybe take a pause for a second. And this is going to be a very emotional broadcast for me. Um, take a second and let in what we have done together. We have shown up for each other, marked our life moments, been part of the world in real ways, done good together, checked in on each other, created a global platform for Torah. We will certainly be sharing the article, Helen. So, all that in mind. Remember that the end of this bracha has a phrase from Pirkei Avot, which says, which means, turn it over and over again. Every time we go through the Torah, it is revolutionary. Literally revolutionary. So, we've done it once. Let's start again.
לעסוק בדברי תורה, לעסוק בדברי תורה. הפוך בה, להפוך בה, לעסוק בדברי תורה. תן לי הלאה לילה, תן לי הלאה Friends, said the bracha, let's learn just a drip, drop of Torah and uh, then something special. So I want to dedicate um, the cycle of Torah that we're about to begin to a few different people. Um, two of them are present digitally uh, to my parents, my ima, my abba, who, um, who are my Torah, who have made sure that this world of meaning making was one I was familiar with from infancy probably before that, and for cultivating in me a curiosity and bravery so that when I look at the text and when I look at myself, I feel strong, even when challenged. So, Ima and Abba, thank you for the gift of Torah. Uh, I also want to dedicate uh, the cycle of learning we're about to begin to my colleague, my teacher, Mark Meaden at UJA, who championed this idea with me early on. It was a risk that we were taking as an organization that really is careful about messaging and scripting in all the right ways. We make a big impact on the world and want to make sure that we get it right. So to be brave enough to take a risk and to go off script um, is incredibly big. And Mark, as a friend and as a teacher, championed this and said, let's do this for a couple weeks. And neither one of us could have imagined, none of us could have imagined what the world would look like, nor what we'd be able to accomplish in it. So Mark, thank you for for helping us all take a chance on each other. And finally, the person that I want to honor um, with this cycle of Torah is my wife, my holy wife, Neshama Karlibach. Um, if you've been with us since the very beginning of these broadcasts, you might remember that... Hi. She's gonna, you should come here. I'm talking about you. Okay. You should come here. Everybody. I could introduce her by her resume, or I could just tell you that this is the woman who makes me happiest. This is the person who makes me happiest in the world. And often when I am sharing Torah, um, she's in the other room commenting. Every once in a while, one of our kids is also posting, go Nix, or you know, <laughs> something sweet. Um, if you've been with us since the very beginning, uh, you might know that this wasn't where I was broadcasting from. I was broadcasting from the left side of our bedroom. and Sometimes I was... in front of the bathroom door and sometimes the, <laughs> the door would be open and, and Mark would be texting, close the bathroom door. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so um, it was with Nishama's encouragement that I created a workspace. Actually, we created a workspace together right here. And while the flow for all of us, I mean, really, I'm sure for you, um, has been strange. Workspace, personal space, family space, professional time. It's all very hard. There are times where Nisham is performing in Jerusalem through that wall, and I'm and doing I'm so this. Loud. I'm so sorry. No, you're perfect. I, uh, no, I'm loud. It's true. So what I wanted to do, you know, the interview uh, that e Jewish Philanthropy did yesterday asking about this said, um, you know, so what have, what have you learned? What the decision to make this space a sacred one in our home really came from you uh, and the impact is felt throughout in our community so there are lots of ways the Torah manifests in the world and one of them is through healthy uh, relationship and what it is to support somebody else in the world so for me that begins with you thank you okay. love you um, and I, I I want us to share something special this is a seum right we are we completed the entire cycle of Torah on Friday and we're beginning awesome again that? today. I'm so blown away. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm so proud of you. This is amazing. Thank you. What you've done. Thanks. Amazing. It is. It is. I, I shared with 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 all of you, and I, and you know this. Um, I was officially on vacation during two weeks of this past year, um, but I couldn't miss this morning. I couldn't, and I'm looking at all of you. It's an interesting platform because I can see your comments, but because of Facebook's weirdness, 
I can also sort of see how you represent yourself, like your, your pictures, your presence. And so uh, I need you. I need you. And Torah gives us um, an invitation every morning, every day. There's this really interesting teaching in the Talmud that says, um, are you allowed to learn science and secular knowledge? And so one of the rabbis says, absolutely, as long as you can observe this verse too. The verse is, Vigata bo yamam balayla. Right, talk about Torah night and day. If you can find a time that isn't night and day, that's when you can learn science. <laughs> so this is our chance, night and day. We do it mornings, nine o'clock, and we're going to keep going. We'll figure out how. Amen. So let's for a second um, hear some Torah from a, a really special teacher. Um, we're going to sing a song in a moment, but what I what I would love to ask my teacher to do is to share a little bit about what the message of the song is. The song relates to this Parsha. Translated, I think. Yeah. So Vayakel that, and Pekude that we're about to read is very much about gathering the people. But we're a people in the Torah and we're people now that might need reminders. Why, why are we here? What can we accomplish in such a, a complicated world, a very unpredictable world? Now, you and I, we, all of us, I, <laughs> I don't usually do this with you right here. I know. I'm usually like hovering weirdly in the hallway. <laughs> and I'm trying not to like turn away. This is great. Oh my God, you must all be loving this because I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, the, the world of the Torah, especially as we are in it, is a time in the desert, an undetermined time. It's very scary. We were just freed from hundreds of years of not being given the time or space or chance to know who we are. So here we are saying what Moses said when he first meets God at the burning bush, Mi anochi. like who am I? So on the collective level, we're saying, who are we? Really, who are we? So the verses for the song are from three parts of the whole Tanakh, the whole Hebrew Bible. So Mi anochi kielech. Moshe says, who am I? <laughs> me? Really, me? Later on, um, during the book of, of Jonah, where Jonah is really lost, he's really lost in the, the darkest depths, um, trying to run away from uh, his purpose, trying to run away from the enormity of the task. So he says, Mi yashuv, God, come back. Like, I really don't know what I'm doing without you. Um, and then, and we just read this for Purim, when Esther is scared, scared of her own strength. I, I don't really, you know, I know what it is to not know, to not feel my own strength sometimes. So she says to her uncle, she says to Mordechai, no, I'm too scared. I can't. And his answer is pretty important for us all to hear. Certainly saved our lives, saved the world in, in, in countless ways. He said, Umiya dea imla et kazoti gat. You're here for a reason. Who knows? You can't know in advance if that's it. So I, I was wondering, this is something that you teach a lot. Could you share some Torah about what it is to f find purpose and to do that as a community? I think that's what we're all trying to do. So please. <laughs> I, um, I really, I'm very humbled to be here. Um, this community has brought me so much light and, and you all, you know, I feel like we, we kind of get into this back and forth in the chat and it's very emotional for me. Um, I really feel like God manifests in us all. I feel like we are here, um, when we are lacking the signs of where holiness is, it's, it is within each of us and we are given more power than we understand. Um, and my, my own personal Torah, you know, has shifted over my lifetime, but I really feel like I am serving God best when I know my own strength and when I'm not afraid of my purpose. And by extension, when I'm not afraid of what I'm here for, I can say it really loud and hopefully others will hear me and remember why they're here as well. And this song is very um, special to me. First of all, Menachem wrote it with Ariel. Um, his daughter, my stepdaughter, who we love so much. Um, so that was just a very holy experience. Um, but my first name is Esther, and I've always felt so connected to what it was to be hidden and not, um, not, necessarily, not necessarily honest about what you are there for, but there for something very holy. And I, I really, really feel like on this anniversary of 
this community of this pandemic of our hiding of our needing to be within instead of on the outside that maybe our purpose is to be present for each other in a new way to have mm -hmm. patience for the power within us that has maybe emerged a little bit maybe we know it maybe we're not sure maybe it's a secret we haven't even told ourselves yet um, and just to celebrate who we are together and to each other that's what I think <sighs> on the one hand here I am like sitting in our home it's just you and me on the other hand hi everybody there's there's um, there's majesty in what you just said thank you thank you for it thank you um you want to sing everybody a little Let's bit see. all right wherever you are your job is to sing if you don't know the song sing louder sing anyway the thing about these weird digital platforms is you can get away with anything <laughs> Um, but we offer you this song. We're not trying to get away with everything. No. 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 You're going to hear us. We're going to try to do it nicely. <laughs> um, but please, everybody, know how beautiful you are to us, how beautiful you are in my heart. Every morning at 9 o'clock, there, there have been mornings, I'm sure, for you, certainly for me, where getting up is hard. This world does not make... Uh, it easy to fulfill what we're taught by tradition. The first rule in the code of Jewish law, the Shulchan Aruch, is uh, Yakum Adam Yitgaber Ka'ari, right? A person should get up and be mighty like a lion. There's a reason that's a command, because it's not something that always comes naturally. So it's because of you, because of this holy community that has gathered every day since March 18th of last year to learn Torah every day and to care for yourselves and for each other and for the world every day, really along the lines of what you just taught, to begin to hear the secrets that we haven't even told ourselves. That's been, first of all, Torah that I learned from you constantly, and that's been something that becomes more true uh, with every passing day that we dedicate towards being purposeful. So I want to bless all of you, really want to bless all of you, with the fulfillment of what Neshama just taught us. Amen. Um, and I'd like to bless myself with a little bit more of it. And the way that I'm going to bless myself is by showing up with all of you. All right, let's keep learning Torah, everybody. Vayakel Pekude, this, this week, we show up and we vayakel, we become a kihila. We renew our commitment to being a community together. So whatever form that takes, let's be blessed to be together. Yay. All right, so this is that song, Mi Anochi. And uh, Ariel, if you're watching, hi. This is yours.
<laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> Friends, this is a majestic thing that we are doing. It is a glorious thing that we are doing. I've said many times that the screen in front of us is a portal into each other's hearts. It has never felt more true than it does right now. So thank you for sharing your heart. Thank you for sharing our home. Thank you for learning Torah together. And thank you for creating a better world for all of our children, for ourselves. There is light outside. Please, God, wherever you are, take a look outside. Let the sky in. And just cultivate some gratitude that can strengthen you due to the work that needs to be done. So can't wait to see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Cannot wait to continue our Torah journey together. We've got so much more to share. Thank you for sharing this entire year. Thank you for the year to come. Amen. We love you. We love you. Hang in there. See you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock.